What's going on guys? I am Justin Carvac. Welcome back to Critter Hunter and today I want to talk about Panama. So let's go. So guys today I want to talk about the top five best scuba diving locations in Panama. I know there's a lot more than five but Let's just talk about five of my favorite. Panama is an amazing country in the tropics of Southern Central America, located just north of Colombia and south of Costa Rica. It has tons of dive sites, both on the Caribbean and the Pacific side. And let's talk about those. So my number five pick, I'm gonna go with Bocas del Toro. Located on the Caribbean side, Bocas del Toro, or that whole archipelago, is probably the most popular holiday destination in Panama. It has some amazing white beaches, and all of the islands are surrounded by awesome coral gardens. But it is also well known for macro critters, such as cowries, nudibranchs, arrow crabs, and more. But you're also going to see nurse and reef sharks, as well as mores and things like that. It's a really great place to go. It's just almost to the Costa Rican border and pretty easy to get to. Number four, I'll go with Portobello National Park. This park includes stunning beaches, coral reefs, lagoons, mangroves, and a lot of excellent diving. Here you'll see huge amounts of species from turtles, even the more endangered hawksbill turtle to nurse and reef sharks and mores and much more. Not to mention there are over 50 species of coral reef alone. Uh, this place is a little more remote than Bocas del Toro and it is an excellent example of a successful protected marine area. So definitely check it out. Number three, I wanna head to the Pacific side and I'm gonna go with Coiba National Park. This protected area hosts an abundance of marine life and coral gardens. There's multiple islands and Coiba is the largest, which is encircled with tons of reef. There are also sites where you see megafauna, such as humpback whales, manta rays, whale sharks, and stuff like that. I guess it's it's really no surprise that you'll see such great uh, megafauna because it is located in between Cocos Island in Costa Rica, which is famous for hammerheads and all that, uh, and the Galapagos Island in the north, which is famous for whale sharks, mantas, everything. And this is the same region, so it's really no surprise. And this is less visited than the other two. And number two, I'm going to go with Gatton Lake. And before I go any further, I got to say, forgive any of my bad pronunciations. Uh, some of these are tough. But anyways, Gatton Lake. It's a little bit different, but I wanted to throw this in here for a little bit different dive experience. It's actually a lake that formed off of the Panama Canal when it was being made. And... It's, it's really unique, you could dive with, you, you can see old railroad tracks and cars, you can see old abandoned dredges, uh, mining machinery, stuff like that, and you can even see some flooded villages. So it's definitely one of the more unique on this list. Uh, and there's also some fish species that uh, thrive here like peacock bass and snook. So. It's pretty cool. If you're in the area, you might want to check that out. And number one, I'm going to go with La Vuida. La, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll, I'll write it on the screen. La Vuida, Viuda. This is a massive pinnacle and it rises from the depths all the way up to about 10 meters from the surface which obviously offers tons of reef and current dives. And it also has huge schools of fish. Your long trek is gonna be paid off when you encounter huge snappers, 
jacks, tunas, sharks, and even mantas. This is a wall and current dive for the most part, and maybe for a little bit more advanced divers, but since only more advanced divers go to this area, it might be a little more fun if you're if you don't want to dive with beginners and stuff like that. Um, I've heard it described as like that. So yeah, definitely put this one on your list. It's also on the Pacific side and has some of the same megafauna as the others, but pretty remote. It's going to be a trek to get there. So there you have it, guys. What do you think of these locations that I mentioned? And have, what have I missed? Have you been to Have you been scuba diving in Panama? And have you been to other sites that I didn't mention? Because I would definitely like to hear about those. So leave your comments below. And we have videos coming out every two days. So make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.